Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is John, the brother of James, a pattern to the harvest workers. Recall the scene at the Mount of Transfiguration. Jesus, Moses and Elijah. And Peter, James and John. Yesterday we talked about James being a symbol of martyrdom, representing Moses not reaching the promised land. And today we are talking about the opposite side, John, a symbol of the harvest workers, a person that never died as murderer and that has seen a life our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the island of Patmos when Jesus came to him and gave him the revelation. John symbolizes not only the harvest workers of the sealed tribulation but also the 144,000 during the trumpet period. The 72,000 harvest workers that are building two by two dwelling places of Mount Zion is mentioned in Luke 10 when John when Jesus sent out 72 apostles or disciples to go to the places that he will visit and the same will happen now when the harvest workers will go all over the world to all the places that Jesus will come to he will visit them and he will be the king in, of this world so Luke 10 represents the sealed tribulation and the harvest workers and that also be represented by John. And John has the spirit of Elijah. Elijah is also a symbol and pattern of being ruptured into paradise before death. Elijah never died. He was taken up in a whirlwind in the chariot of fire to heaven. A clear symbol of the rapture. So if James the martyr is the symbol of Moses, then John the harvest worker, the one who is said in Revelation 10, eat the small book and then go and prophesy to many nations, to kings and all the people in the world. These are the harvest workers. These are also the harvest workers of the seal tribulation of the 40 days and the harvest workers of the trumpet tribulation, the 144,000. And you also find it not only in Luke 10 for the seal tribulation, but you find the information for the harvest workers of the trumpet tribulation in the Gospel of John. John is for the harvest workers, for the people who will reach Mount Zion alive. And this is what we in our ministry of triple grace are calling you for us to walk with us together that past to be part of this group of the harvest workers to bring in the wheat into the barn to build the dwelling places of zion in the nations to gather the assemblies together the assemblies of zion and then be part as a multitude closed in white be part of the rapture at the sixth seal into paradise and there we will be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Abba Father forever and ever. So John represents the people that will make it alive through the sealed tribulation to reach Mount Zion. And James represents the martyrs, the people who will not reach the promised land alive, but will die before. James was murdered, one of the early ones who got murdered, beheaded. But John never died until he saw Jesus Christ in, in the revelation at the island of Patmos. I hope you liked this topic and got the understanding from the Mount of Transfiguration, from Luke 10, from Isaiah 4, from the book of John, the Gospel of John, from the book of Revelation, from Micah, from Malachi 4, and all this who will point you to Mount Zion to the spirit of Elijah and Moses, to the coming out of the world and out of Babylon and walking the righteous path 
towards the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because it is Jesus with his Father who will come down with Mount Zion at the sixth seal. Be part of it. Join us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. So into the ministry. Support the ministry. Help us to bring the message forth into the nation and to bring in the wheat into the barn. Help us to call, gather the harvest of the ages so that these people who will come in can clean their filthy clothes into the blood of the lamp and be part of the multitude clothed in fine white linen as it is written in Revelation 7. I love you all so dearly and I hope that you will come and join me. Please step forward now and I will see you again tomorrow for the next topic. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.